What's up everybody, the Strong Boys 19 here, and it's time for me to do another 2013 album review. For this one we're going to be touching on the self-titled album from the band Dream Theatre. Now I know that this album came out a few days ago, so uh, I was uh, planning out to do uh, other uh, 2013 reviews in the future, and I promised you guys that I will be reviewing this one, as I said when I was reviewing the new Soulfly album Savages with a great buddy of mine, Thomas Rockaholic Eleven. So let's just jump right into it. For those who don't know the band, Dream Theater are an American progressive metal band from Boston, and this album is the follow-up to a dramatic turn of events which came out in the year of 2011 and throughout their discography images and words had to be one of my all-time favorite albums and I absolutely love everything about this album there's so many phenomenal albums from this band Awake, Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from a Memory you know Train of Thought but images and words will have to be my favorite Dream Theater album. Okay, so when I heard that Dream Theater were releasing a new album, I was really excited because they're one of my favorite metal bands of all time. And uh, I just really loved the, um, the whole um, song structures and creativity that they have been, uh, been going through for... Um, say for more than 20 years and uh, they have been one of the most uh, complex melodic progressive bands out there and uh, and this is an album that I really was surprised by it was a really good album from start to finish the artwork on this album is uh, just pretty much uh, it's really nothing like the beautiful artworks of uh, you know awakened images and words uh, metropolis part 2 you know and all that great stuff but the artwork is just uh, it's just just simple and some simple artworks can be classics but this artwork is uh, is pretty cool actually just the the really dark background with the uh, the really cool uh, band logo that's just um, all uh, covered in silver, you know, bright, shiny, uh, silver metal type of design, which is uh, really cool. And uh, if you want some bands that have the very interesting and uh, just over-the-top progression, uh, check out some progressive bands besides Dream Theater for other ones for the likes of other progressive bands like Mastodon, King Crimson, Pink Floyd and um, Rush and just yes all of those other um, fantastic bands the record label for this album is Roadrunner Records and John Petrucci is the producer of the album and I love John Petrucci he's one of my all-time favorite metal guitarists out there so let's just jump right into this album so uh, the production on the album is absolutely fantastic and uh, the distorted sound from the electric guitars really does have the uh, the heavy vibes to it squeaky jacket uh, but yeah uh, as I said uh, very good distortion sound for the electric guitar work and um, the sounds on the keyboards from Jordan are just um, are just really really good as well and uh, they can really bring uh, some very smooth atmosphere to it but uh, I'd say that the only um, the only flop on the album which is not big by the way the only like uh, a bit of downfall I should say than just a flop but who cares the only thing to me that uh, kinda spoils the album a bit is the uh, the overuse of keyboards and Dream Theater has always been really known for their own uh, like progressive music, but with a lot of atmospheric sounds of keyboards, but which is fine by me. But um, 
I have to admit that the overuse of keyboards can be a little bit too much by a lot of these songs on this album, but uh, they still sound really beautiful, and um, also the uh, the lead vocals from James Labrie, Labri, whatever it's pronounced, I might have butchered that, I apologise. His vocals are just still strong to this very day, and I love the sound of his voice and he is very very good by the way he sings and he has a very melodic and uh, soulful beautiful sound from his voice and um, and when he did the vocals for uh, the album Images and Words it had been one of my most favorite highlights on this album and uh, he's just one of the most incredible metal vocalists out there but well, my favourite um, metal vocalist of all time is Ronnie James Dio, but James will have to be one of my most favourite metal vocalists. And um, as I said, uh, John Petrucci is uh, very complex by his guitar work and uh, his pretty much very fast uh, complexity over the top, uh, like sweep picking and fast playing and guitar solos. It's just everywhere, but he is just that skillful as a guitarist. And the drumming from Mike Mangini is uh, definitely another really good thing. Uh, Mike Mangini's drumming is also uh, very wow. It's just uh, completely out there. It's all over the place. Like uh, John Petrucci's guitar playing, his skills on the drums are just, you know, oh my god, you know, and... Um, He's just very, very good by the way he plays and just keeps everything in time and beat with his just, you know, over the top type of drumming with all the fast uh, pedaling and the beautiful sounds of the cymbals and everything. So, yeah. And uh, there's a lot of very good enjoyable songs and there had been some very good instrumentals on here as well by uh, some parts on some of these songs. Uh, and there's just a lot of uh, very, very good tracks on the album. For examples, uh, the single The Enemy Inside and uh, The Looking Glass, Along for the Ride and, uh, and other ones. But my favourite song on this album will have to be The Bigger Picture. And um, some of these songs just really begins with the, uh, the very beautiful... Uh, sound and vibes from the, the the whole instrumentation and there are some that are just you know completely uh, starting off with just a, a bang of uh, just the whole band playing and um, James's atmospheric phenomenal style of vocals it's just amazing the way that Dream Theatre um, still makes strong music to this day and that's what I love about Dream Theater. Dream Theater have been one of these bands that are just uh, full of complexity and uh, it's just to me very very good to listen to and uh, I just really love the way that they create the music this um, this perfect and um, even though that some people might say that uh, you know they're not very good because they're just over the top progression but uh, that's what we all get from a lot of these progressive bands. Just a lot of uh, strong song structures and complex writing of melodic and progression at the same time. And, uh, you know, Dream Theater had made one of the uh, the best progressive albums. You know, as I said before, Train of Thought and Awaken, the landmark images and words and Metropolis Part 2. Even though there are some, some albums that might be not as strong or or perfect as um, as their previous efforts, but uh, they are still one of the most um, interesting uh, bands to this very day. And the musicianship uh, is uh, been going really well throughout their career. And uh, just definitely give this album a shot, and you will not regret it. This is a fantastic album, and uh, it's just. Um, it's just going to be into my top 25 of 2013 and uh, let me know what you guys think of this album by typing down below. Tell me if you like this album and uh, you know, 
just let me know. Or if you just want to, uh, you know, do your own album review of this album, feel free to do so. I have no problem with that at all. And I'm going to give this album a 9 out of 10. And uh, just, you know, just check it out as I said a couple of times. Ugh! But yeah, thank you guys for watching.